what we're doing is living our truth and trying to network with other people that are trying to live their truth. Correct. And, and connecting with people who don't necessarily think that how society is right now is the best way. Right? People, because they're people, visionaries. They right. See. People are trying to go after something that society says is unrealistic. Mm -hmm. But other people have proven that it is realistic if you put the time and effort and find all the the ways of doing it. So it's not that it's unrealistic. It's just against the grain of society. It's against what they, mm -hmm. the people in power, want us to do. Which is question the system. Right. And so if we're trying to tell the mass media, the 75% of people that are like in the system to try to change the system, it's not going to work. It has to come from the few. The 25%. It has to come from the few. Like... In history, the masses help when it comes to like an uproar, uh, a riot. But what what is the catalyst to masses of people going and trying to overthrow government or change the the reality the of society? Well. <laughs> it always comes from a few people who have really insightful ideas mm -hmm. that rile up that crowd to do that. So it really always comes from the few. Mm -hmm. And, I, and unfortunately, I think it, that's just it, it, how society works. <laughs> it's how human nature is. It's how human nature is because everyone is trying. The the seventy five percent that's just following the status quo are just like, what's the word? The hive mind, right? And then the few that are able to make the change, try to pander to the in crowd. Or not, they're not pandering. They just live their truth and they connect with the in crowd. And then the in crowd starts connecting with their in crowd. And then it just starts becoming this big organization of people. And now the people that are on the verge of changing end up coming in. And then that becomes the new status quo. Mm -hmm. And then the hive yeah. mind end, ends up buying into that message. But the, the issue is like if you see rising stars is they don't create that in crowd to the point where they can have influential change. They get to a point where they start getting like delved into the financial materialistic and then they just end up going from their message to just like now pandering to the, yeah. the status quo. But like the, the reason why like John Lennon was so influential was because he was able to create that in crowd network and keep building right. it and building it while staying still staying true to him. And you know, what the, you know, and why? then he ended you up getting why? a lot of backlash from the main crowd. You know why that was, though? It's because that was in the 1960s, early 70s, before the internet. So mm. the in crowd was easier to understand who they were because those people would show up in droves to their shows. But at the same time, it's so them. hard to connect with them because you have no, like literally you post something on the internet and it's able to go to millions of people. I'm just saying it's <clears throat> it's easier without the technology of the internet because then you're forced to talk to people. Whereas now... Where you get that, like, human connection, yes. you're saying? Whereas now, like... I think you could, could still say your message, though. Yes, you could, but... Everything finds a way to get sensationalized on the internet, mm. right? If it's popular enough, it gets sensationalized by someone. Mm -hmm. Some fucking news outlet will find a way to spin it to yeah. help them but at the same time it doesn't mean you can't do what john lennon did which was go no but door I, to door and literally like i i think it would be very old school and i don't know if it would be as effective but you could mm -hmm. you know you could make it work but i don't think anyone's tr doing that right now mm -hmm. right i don't think anyone's doing it the old school way anymore it's very much like and that's the way you get like true right. human connection with someone. now everyone's like how can i use the internet to get as many sales as possible or get as many followers as possible how do i up my numbers no yeah. it's always it's a, and then it becomes it, sensational it went from it went from being a how do i make as many connections as mm -hmm. possible and really get fans to numbers it's always a numbers game